stupid army to take others' grain or oil they will kill in your name. There are ferocious predators in the world, the people. Call up a terrible furry and violence parry and then strike down your enemy. We must become strong so we can defend ourselves from aggression do some push-ups. It is okay to be strong and to have what you need to live. Learning about war. Sun Tzu, the art of war the text outlines theories of battle but also advocates diplomacy and cultivating relationships with other nations as essential to the health of a state. Avoiding war while meeting your goals is generally the best strategy and explains the dangers of direct conflict and how to win those confrontations when they are forced upon you. The four generations of warfare first generation, tactics of line and column think the British Redcoat, second generation, tactics of linear fire and movement, with reliance on indirect fire, World War I, third generation, tactics of infiltration to bypass and collapse the enemy blitzkrieg, the World War II War in the Pacific. Fourth generation warfare is conflict characterized by a blurring of the lines between war and politics, soldier and civilian. Usually one of the major participants is not a state, but rather a violent non-state actor. This is states of warfare today, mixed with legacy ideas from the past. The genocides murders of great numbers of people because they were other. The Eastern Front of World War II a war of annihilation, not just a test of strength, but the goal of surrounding and murdering. Surrendering meant death. Exercise. Think like a combatant. Kill that insect before it kills you. Kill that insect before it kills you. Kill that insect before it kills you. Do it now. Kill now. Movement. Stomp. Crush it. Exercise increase your stress level listen to the terrible sound of war increase your stress hormones. Imagine an enemy that has wronged you. Imagine you are about to take your revenge. Shoot the gun feel the dopamine. This is one of the greatest of euphorias our brain produces. Now start building a brain that can end the war. Curing mass hysteria. Listen, you will jump off that bridge. Every one of you jump off that bridge. Jump off that bridge, jump off that bridge, jump off that bridge, jump off that bridge, do it now. Movement. Walk away in a direction of your choice. Lower your pulse rate. Now an experiment. There was a boy he failed to find mentors and teachers to help him with his art. He was rejected. He was conscripted or maybe tricked into volunteering for the army. He felt hated because of his hair color. He felt inferior because if he was short, he was sent to a war without logic. He was blinded by poison gas. He was starved. His brain was changed by starvation. He was humiliated. He pissed himself. He shit in his pants and had to sit in his shitty pants. He had no toilet paper. His feet rotted. His crotch rotted. The people around him were ripped to shreds. They exploded into pink mist. His friend's lungs were burned from the inside. He was a runner, he carried messages, making him a high priority a target for the enemy. His brain was damaged by stress he received concussions. His side lost the war this boy's worldview collapsed, nothing made sense. He was punished for accident of the location of his birth he starved more. His brain struggled to make up explanations for the random chaos and horror. He was motivated by his fear of hunger to secure grain for his people. This boy became Hitler.